Hello guys, this is 27th tutorial of this Linux tutorial series. In the last tutorial, we saw that how we can create the block devices. So to use a disk, uh, you remember we spoke about creating a raw disk and then um, uh, mounting a file system on that and then mounting that disk to, to an operating system so that it become, becomes usable or it becomes as a block device. So in the previous one, we created a raw disk. Now in this tutorial, we'll learn how to create file system on that and how to create a block device. So we will type f disk minus l to see Okay, so this command won't work if you are not a super user. You have to type um, sudo or you can become a root and then we'll type this command fdisk minus l. So we have a device here, dev stb of 1 GB size. So let's uh, format it. Either you can use ext4 or xfs let's let's start with ext4 so i'll type mkfs make file system dot ext4 and then def slash stb1 this is the device button okay you hit enter now file system created now next step will mount this to the operating system so before that, we need to create a device or directory where it can be mounted. So let's create a local mount point. We'll type mkdir slash directory one. Now you can either mount using mount command then slash dev slash stb1 and then to directory 1. This is one way of doing. If you type df minus h, it will show you that it's mounted on dir1. Now the mount that we did is a temporary one. So to make it permanent, we need to update the partition table information to etc fs tab. That is slash etc slash fs tab. So this is file system table where we maintain all the mount points. So let's go and see how we can do it. We'll open this file clause slash etc slash fs tab. Go to the last line. You'll see that there are five different values here. The first value is uh, it says uh, what device to mount. Second is what should be the mount point third is what file system is being used fourth as of now you can just leave defaults it, it changes basically uh, either it's samba or nfs it changes accordingly and then the fifth one is zero zero first it is for dumping and second for file system check so we'll come to the last line and so when you come to the last line it basically you'll go here you press i then hit write, then enter, and then type here slash dev slash stb1. And that's our device to mount. Then where to mount? It's slash dir1. Then what file system we had? In it? We had ext4. Now uh, we'll save it as defaults. And then the fifth value is zero space zero. Then we'll save by hitting escape colon wq now to check whether the configuration is correct or not you need to type mount mount minus a it's successfully mounted now if it's there if there are errors it won't proceed to the next line or it will, or it will generate error if there are error uh, immediately fix it don't proceed without that because if you reboot your machine and errors are there in fs tab file it won't boot properly and then you need to boot in safe mode and then delete that line from fs tab and then boot again so make sure you run mount minus a or space minus a to check whether the mounting is properly done or not and you 
if you want to see you hit df minus h you see that it's mounted here dev stb1 is mounted to dir1 and it's around 1 gb in size cool now how to unmount so you can type command u mount which which one which device do you mount Let's write dev slash stb1 got unmounted if you hit df minus h you won't see this here but the entry remains in fs tab so if you want to unmount this again you need to go to slash etc slash fs tab and delete or make it make it uh, like a comment by putting a hash in front of it save it hit mount minus a done let's redo so go to etcfs tab we need to mount it again we'll just uncomment this line by hitting x we are deleting the first character we'll save this file we'll hit mount minus a got mounted we'll verify by hitting df minus h here we go it mounted it got mounted again so that's all for this tutorial practice whenever you have time the more you practice the more confident you become there is no shortcut to it don't forget to subscribe my channel for future updates thanks for watching guys